Running through the jungle. Du -du 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 -du. Where the hell did you come from? Oh, you better not kill me. Right, uh, this thing's kind of practically useless, isn't it? And I'm dead. What do you know? G'day, I'm Ash Rock and we sell back to War Thunder. <laughs> It's this boy. This is the AC-1 Sentinel, or also known as the Australian Cruiser Mark 1. It's rank 2, but rank 2.7. I'm going to test drive for 13 days. It's got a 40mm quick-firing 2-pounder gun, and the armor on this is really mediocre, although it has some unique advantages when you're brawling up close. Highly recommend that you push this thing up, but 64, uh, both hull and turret, and the sides are 46, and whether the turret is 51, uh, and, you know, crew of 5, max speed of about 38 kilometers now, even though it's listed as about 39, and obviously we have to have a look at this this bulbous piece of machinery, which is actually an armoured housing for a Lewis gun machine gun, which is a World War I machine gun, and it's because it needs to be a water-cooled jacket, it needs to be at least that big, but hey, that's what you get. Now, the engine isn't quite right in this, and I don't think the armour values are quite right either, but what you get in terms of things, you do get artillery support, and there are quite a lot of other things too. You, you shot whatever this is with about 60-70% uh millimeters of penetration and then the same with the different types of apbc and so on and so forth there you go and look this gun it doesn't really feel that practical i feel like the ac mark 4 is definitely a better vehicle but then again 2.7 suits this one and oh, as you can see i've got an australian lineup now it sits in the tech tree right about here and uh, what a fantastic little machine this is and yes, I'm well aware that, you know, the penis jokes, right? This has been a joke, inside joke in Australia for about 80 years. So let's leave it at that. Anyway, will you buy this vehicle or will you grind for it? No, I will have to wait and see. Right, jumping into things. Hello. Goodbye, BT7. First match of this machine, we're in Sweden. I have capture the point i turned around and went around the block and then these crazy germans come flying up around the corner okay right well i'm not gonna pay attention to you let's go after your friend again the gun isn't exactly good for penetrating the front of a panzer again this was made in 1941 i believe the only combat okay he's dead he's a bit tricky to kill this one actually i'm not sure 70 mils of penetration is really doing it it's justice come on all right yeah I have no idea. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay, he's dead. Never mind. Is that a stug? Oh, dear, that's a stug. I don't know if I'm going to be able to penetrate him from here. Oh, well, first we miss. Up a bit. Come on, pull back. Oh, pull back. Oh. Oh, how did that not kill me? Right, again, we're taking machine gun fire from multiple directions. There goes some rockets on the stug. Or oh, Stur. Another shell from here. Wow. He's really trying his hardest here. Hang on, I just got shot from another direction. There's a Panzer three, I believe. Yep, there he is. Shoot through the tree. I can't really penetrate or kill any of these guys. The armor distance is quite nice. Oh, I should mention. Oh, hang on. There he goes. Yes! Yes, you go. I was going to pull back in reverse and just completely just dissipate LVT behind that. Give me old rat attack with the machine gun. Unfortunately, the front machine gun that everyone is memeing about doesn't actually work, so it's kind of a bit useless. But alas, the only time that this tank was actually used was for a filming period of the capture of Tobruk. These were portrayed as enemy panzers, and the allies were on the other side. But that was a late 44. The official deployment for these were training vehicles, even though they built quite a number of them. Not many survived the war, um, as far as I know. But anyway, there we go, that guy's down. Okay, a BD-7's come out of this area. He's managed to take my track off, I sat here repairing it. I'm getting shot from multiple directions, and this is just not good. Oh, dear. Let's kill this guy's gunners off. 
this I have no idea what that is the Zis 6 like uh like LVT again that BT is putting me in a bit of a troublesome position All right, one shot through there easy does it another shot takes him out okay five kills already so the armor on this thing is not bad it's the well okay Oh, today is not my day. Uh, okay, welcome to another match. This time we're on the jungle, and I definitely feel like I'm running through the jungle this time. This is my third match in this machine. And I don't exactly know what is going to happen. Well, there's something on C that I've just spotted. In the meantime, just check the other areas of this area. That makes no sense. Check this area of this area. Yes, Ash, your English is perfect. You don't need to go to a speech therapy. Hang on. Armor, angle. Angle. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Boom. Okay. Who's next? Oh, there's a little... I heard shots. I can hear... I can hear things. The jungle. The, the trees. They do be moving. Hang on. Someone's about to cross that bridge. There he is, look. Bonk. Not anymore, he's not crossing anymore, is he? Alright, there we go. Again, the two-pounder works well against light targets. Say hello. There's a steward. Put a fire. Another hit. One to the left a little bit more. There we go, beautiful. Triple strike. I must say, this, mission, this thing is kind of beautiful and ugly at the same time. Off-road performance is piss poor. But again, I guess this vehicle is okay. You don't reach the top speed very often either, might I add. All right, let's go a bit this direction a bit. Hang on, there's a trumpet. All right, we'll have to wait for him to cross the bridge, I guess. I'm not going to expose myself out there. Right, so we're going to push forward with this thing. I mean, the transmission isn't exactly greatest either. We're going to say the tar trumpet boy. Where is he? Come here. Come here. There he is. Hang on, there's another vehicle up there. Oh, there he is. Oh! <laughs> he fell off the bloody bridge. Wait, hang on. Hang on! There's two of them! Uh, okay. Low tears, everybody. <laughs> oh, you can't make this shit up. Oh, boy. All right, let's climb the embankments and get out of here. That. Ah. Nah, M8. Sneaky little M8. Oh. Bonk. Alright, next shot. Bonk. There we go. Alright. Come on, kill. Nah. Disappointing. Okay. Where there's a will, there's a wear away. A wear away. A wear away. A wear away. Yeet. Boom. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. The wear away never disappoints. Alright, back in this machine again. Oh, it's basically the end of the match. Hello. Again, you can't penetrate me, can you? You know, I got up tiered in my second match, and I got absolutely blasted by a Dickamax from, like, across the map. Well, well close enough. IKV-72. That works, I guess. So begs the question, is this machine worth your time? The answer is probably yes if you're a collector or you want the AGS. However, this vehicle is mediocre at best. It really is a decent all-rounder vehicle. It doesn't have a reverse gear, it struggles on off-road terrain. It's two-pounder gun doesn't necessarily penetrate anything particularly well, but it struggles with Panzer 3s and some Panzer 4s. You will get up-tiered and you will see Dickamaxes and Panzer 4 F2s as well. And even in, a, in a, only an Australian lineup, the armor is unpredictable at best. Sometimes it's good at long range, sometimes it's good at close quarters. And the reverse gear only gets you, you know, four kilometers an hour. So there's that. And then there's this bulbous thing. That's really the only meme factor here with this machine in its entirety. So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you going to pick one of these vehicles up? Or do you absolutely love this vehicle specifically for its meme value? My name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.